coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Kimbo Slice and Dan Sever. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Ensemble. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your legs, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. DC, here he is, the one, the only, don't call him Kevin Ferguson. He, of course, is Kimbo Slice. And when you're talking about mixed martial arts and its footprint in the United States of America, Kimbo Slice is a guy who deserves a lot of credit for this mass expansion, at least a month. Absolutely, because when Kimbo Slice fought, people tuned in from the Ultimate Fighter to his days outside of the UFC. Some of the biggest TV ratings we've ever experienced are attributed to Kimbo Slice. He's a guy that people just want to see. From the backyard brawls to the octagon, Kimbo Slice is very special. And probably the nicest guy you would ever want to meet. He don't look like it. When that octagon door closes. He doesn't closed. look like exactly. it, but he is a great guy. And now our kill of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, with the same height and a similar reach. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Coldwater, Michigan, USA, Dan the Beast Seven. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a boxer holding a professional record of five wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Kimbo Slice! And when the action begins, a referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? So lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side and on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level. That now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high cross. Oh. Oh, he flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that or am I read my last round? Absolutely rest? not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with it. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high crotch. Oh. Take him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> Again. Just missed with the left there. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Back and forth we go. Right hook to the head. Oh, and he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. 
not like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Fighters back to their feet here. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice punch, man, goes to stop. The cardio he must have in order to secure this many takedowns. Back to the feet now. Pretty good right hand. Huge knee lands to the clinch. He's gonna try to take him down. There you go. Oh, he slams his opponent down. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, let's get to round two. Effective punch there by Slice. Severn's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Trying to double up on that jab. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Quick entry to get Man, him on a single. Man, that was a great single oh, take. Oh, oh, Slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong end of that? Not, I, mean, I, don't know. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> Fighters get up now. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Man, as effective straight punch as we've seen all night. Straight punch lands, and he's got to work very bad. Gets up again here, but hurting. Good punch lands. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that. His opponent is thinking straight. Double leg takedown lands. 90 seconds now to go in the round. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Severn's got the full mount. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Seconds remain in round two. Oh, Ooh. nice 
knee. Big knee. Boy, that's the end of round number two. So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Third round underway. Oh, big punch land. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dog. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots... Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. Quick level change now. He went single into a high punch. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Beautiful strike. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups, too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and then he's dropping his level. Massive takedown to this lane. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Three minutes now to go in this one. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, straight right. Well, just as he did in the previous round, What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautiful, perfect place to put that shot. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. What a fight. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 46 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by... Oh, oh.